the way a wastegate works is you put pressure to the bottom of the wastegate. It's called a reference. And that reference will open the wastegate. So you have a big plunger that closes it and either pressure from your exhaust or pressure on the bottom will actually push that up. And it'll open your wastegate and you will vent exhaust pressure. So that exhaust pressure will bypass the turbo completely and slow it down so you'll have less boost. So when I say the top of the hat and the bottom of the hat, so the top up here, you're putting pressure against that. So it, it's, so let's say you have uh, 30 pounds of boost pushing up and it's pushing all your springs up. Well, now I can add another 30 on top, on top of the 30 PSI my springs already have and it pushes it back down. So when I can remove pressure from here and add more pressure here, I can manipulate what that wastegate does. So the springs in my wastegate are 35 PSI. So if I did nothing, if these ports weren't connected at all, once I hit 35 pounds of boost, it's gonna start venting off all of the exhaust. Well, a little bit before it kind of ramps in, but at 30, 35 PSI, it's gonna be max open and I'm venting a whole bunch of my exhaust to atmosphere and I lower my boost. So if I remove this pressure completely, it makes it to where I can put up to 35. Now, if I add 35 here or 60 here, or 90 here, plus the 35 I have, that's what will allow me to get to over 100 PSI, which is ultimately where this, this beast will live. My wastegate lives before both of these turbos. So when I'm venting, I'm venting before the first turbo, which means it can never get to the second turbo either. So it's like, and there's two, there's two methods of thinking when you're running a compound setup. So I could, I could vent into my big turbo, which is a really common practice, and it actually drives this turbo harder. The only problem with that is you, you can kind of get your boost out of control because when you vent, you're really just venting it into another turbo, which is driving more boost into the engine. So a lot of times if you want more control, you vent to atmosphere. So I have what's called a weed burner, which means I vent directly down to the dirt. So I have a pipe that's all bent up, all funky, and it drops right below my brake lines behind my front tires. 